Last week, the three indices had their biggest weekly losses since March 20th on the fears of a second wave of coronavirus. But Morgan Stanley came out this week and stated that last week's correction was overdue and healthy. Moreover, Morgan Stanley said that the bull market would soon resume in earnest and further explained that last week's correction was healthy and that they are buyers into weakness. Morgan Stanley believes that corrections are normal after rapid moves higher and last week's correction was overdue and that we are in a new cyclical bull market. Economists at Morgan Stanley see this recession as being the steepest but also one of the shortest on record, and as strategists agree, there will be a V-shaped recovery. The V-shaped recovery in markets is foreshadowing a V-shaped recovery in the economy and earnings. In this kind of environment, growth stocks should do well. Lately, small cap stocks have been charging forward, with the Russell 2000 outpacing the broader market since hitting a low point on March 23rd. With this in mind, I have researched a small cap growth stock for your consideration. So, let's take a look. The small cap company I have researched is Seco Environmental Corporation, an industrial company focused on air purification systems. The company has customers around the globe and offers equipment and solutions for air scrubbing tech, dampers and diverters, and industrial ventilation. Their products are used in the oil and gas, power, battery manufacturing, and wastewater industries. Seco finished 2019 with $67.7 million in bookings and a backlog of $216.6 million in bookings. These numbers have helped it maintain profitability during the corona pandemic. But back in the first quarter of 2020, Seco reported $0.15 cents a share in earnings, which beat the forecast by 36%, even though revenues missed expectations. Looking ahead, the company is expected to show continued growth in the second quarter. The forecast for full year 2020 is for over $358 million on the top line. According to Jerry Sweeney of Roth Capital, Seco looks attractive for a small cap industrial platform company. Sweeney rates the stock a buy with a $9 per share price target. Wall Street has a strong buy consensus rating based on a unanimous five buys. The average price target is $9.20 per share. So, let's take a look at our charts for Seco. And today we're going to look at two charts for Seco Environmental, and the symbol is CECE. -C -E. For disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares of Seco at this time. Looking at the price chart, the important things here, 2018, that bottom there and a double bottom here 2020 at about the four dollar per share level going back to 2004 up through 2009 and then the current time frame we have a, a very gentle upward slope at least it's not negative but we did have this peak at that point there in 2013 2014 but since then we've had a decline and hopefully a larger multi-year base occurring and hopefully we're going to be heading on up here pretty soon but back here we can see that uh, we had the basing and then the pop and then the basing and the pop there so hopefully again this is going to be the third basing and hopefully it's followed up with a nice run but we'll see moving here into volume volume has been declining while the uh, price has gone down, I think that's uh, reasonable. It's not the best volume, but uh, I don't see any red flags. Here into the MAC, you can see that that double bottom here, 2018, and then again here in 2020. Now, the price chart, the double bottom, was at about $4 per share. The fact that this current level is above 2018 is very favorable. It did not get below the bottoms there in 2016 and in 2009, and so that's also good. Into the histogram, we can see these bottoms, 2008, 2009, 2015, 16, 2018, and then 2020. So a general uptrend, at least from the last uh, three bottoms in the histogram into the price rate of change looks like it's bottoming here it's near that zero line it's within striking distance and that's uh, very favorable 
into the relative strength. Same thing, nice bottoming process with the move up to that midline or 50. Down into the stochastics, a nice bottoming. Looks like the fast line wants to head on up. And you can see that as well in the Williams with the bottom here and the move on up. Hopefully it continues into that overbought territory, which will pull the other oscillators up. One last look at the price chart. Now let's go to the next chart. And now we're looking at the six-month daily chart on Seiko. And you can see here that bottom in uh, mid-March at that level there was uh, under 375. So we've had a decent run up through here to this point. It looks like we may have a double top uh, occurring at this point here. Not really sure, but some of the other oscillators are telling me just be cautious in the near term. Seiko is something that you might want to watch here for a couple of months before you decide. And you can take a look at the charts while you also take a look at the fundamentals. Volume looks good. And then the MAC looks fine with that bottom there and that run all the way up here. But uh, with this move here, we may have that double top occurring. So that's why I want to see how this evolves. Moving here into the histogram, you see the same thing. Price rate of change, not much different. Here into the relative strength, you see this nice line heading on up here. But uh, one of the cautionary flags that I see is the stochastics. It looks like we may have a topping process, at least in the daily occurring here. So I want to see how this evolves. Fast line may come up here and uh, get into the overbought territory before coming down again. And it's that consolidation I'd like to see happen, come back down here, say, toward that uh, 20 level. You can see here in the Williams, a similar formation is occurring, possibly a topping process. So I'd like to see the Williams head on down to that uh, negative 80 to negative 100 level before I would uh, perhaps throw my money at this. But then, again, same as usual. Conduct your fundamental analysis. You want to make sure that the numbers look good for you. And for today, that's Chudog Charts. Thank you.